Hey guys, what's up? This is Donna Bells and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Alright, so we're still in the bedroom dome for now. And I'm gonna go to... Gusty Garden Galaxy. Duh. Because the desert galaxy just kind of sucks, so... Eh, what can you do? And this place is really fun. It has great music and bunnies. <laughs> bunnies in the wind. Kind of love the bunnies. Except for chasing them, and they're kind of brats. Which we're actually going to have to do with the end, see? Meh, yeah, see? I'm gonna get the bunnies. Alright, so this galaxy has a lot to do with wind and being carried in the wind. Let's talk to this bunny and see what's up. With the floaty fluff, you can shake to fly higher, but only up to three times. Boing! Okay, I don't know why they have to say boing like that. Automatopoeia, I guess? Is that, is that what that would be? I don't know. If you want to get down during the ride, press A. Boing! And just below, you might want to get some star bits, stock up on them, just because there are a lot of moles in this level. And that's how you get them. You gotta have star bits. And this is also a great level to get star bits, just in case you need them for, um, like, a, a hungry Luma or something. Alright, see? There's a lot of question marks that give you the, the star bits, so that's pretty convenient. Alright, and shake to activate the, these pieces of fluff. And then whenever you're in the, the wind stream and you feel like the Wiimote begin to um, I guess vibrate, <laughs> um, then you shake to go higher because that means you're in the wind stream and it's a good time. Whoa, I grabbed on that time. Cool. One up. What the F? What happened? Oh, I was supposed to I was supposed to make another one go open. Okay, well at least I'm right here. <laughs> that was a ridiculous death. Never mind. I'm not gonna mess with those stupid vines anymore. <laughs> what the hell? Betrayed me. Ooh, those look like fireworks. Is anybody gonna go see fireworks this this weekend? It's Friday right now, so um Yeah, for everyone not in the United States, it's Fourth of July weekend and that's you know, when we celebrate our independence from Great Britain. So, it basically consists of barbecues and fireworks and just fun with your family. I love 4th of July, especially in Texas because it's like really warm weather. It's a fun time to go to like parks and stuff. All right, did I go to the right one? I don't know, there's a lot of these vines that you can get, so. Just wherever it'll take you, don't worry about it. It's fun to get lost, right? Come on, try to get me. And you just stomp his ass, or his head, actually. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't think I've ever been to this. Okay, there we go. That looks right. Oh no, okay, there we go. I can use one of these. Right. And I think this is where I'm supposed to be right now. You die, Junebug. You die. I think Junebug should only be around in June. Anytime afterwards, it's just ridiculous. It's July now. They should all die. <laughs> okay. Here's the launch star I'm looking for. We gotta go get the bunny on this square planet here. Which makes complete nonsense. <laughs> A square planet. Okay, let's go catch him. Sometimes it takes me like five minutes to get this guy, and sometimes it takes me like two. So. I'm gonna get you, bunny. And see, he kind of slows down a little bit, so. Okay. It's giving me trouble. Oh, I got him! Yay! Okay, okay, you got me. Here, take this star. Boing! <laughs> I can't believe I got him so quick. That was good. And um, depending on where you catch him, I think the star shows up different places. So Sometimes it's a challenge to try to find the star because the square plane is just weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, so I said I was just gonna stay in the bedroom a little bit. Just for a little bit. So I'm gonna go somewhere else right now. I'll meet you there.
Look at me, guys. I'm at the top here. I'm going in the engine room. Just because a lot of y'all wanted me to go here. So I'm going to come here. And we actually have enough stars to actually beat Bowser again. But I'm not going to do that. Let's just focus on these two domes that we have open. See, we only need 45. Now, which galaxy am I going to go to? That's the real question. These are all freaking amazing galaxies. So, um, Toy Time Galaxy, I know a lot of y'all wanted me to go there. Gold Leaf Galaxy, just like the other galaxy with the bees, except it's like fall time. And then Sea Slide Galaxy. I'm gonna go with Sea Slide because actually, I know I've said this like two or three times now, but this is like one of my favorite galaxies. It really is. I really like the beach galaxies. This is going after Guppy. <laughs> And this galaxy is really creative. It's like a big ring, but it's an ocean. So it's freaking sweet. Guppy. That reminds me of this doll I used to have. It was a, I think it was like the Little Mermaid, Ariel. And used to pull like the string on her back and she used to go, Flounder, quit being such a guppy. <laughs> all right. That big bully's ruining all our fun. That guy's faster than a torpedo. It's crazy. Are you gonna try swimming with a shell? And these are just, you know, giving you little tips. This is one awesome loop of ocean, but that big hooligan is causing trouble and keeping us out of it. Oh no, so we gotta go over there and race him. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna show you what this galaxy is like. And to do that, you just, you know, just get a better view of it. Come over here to the star. And you fly over to the uh, star shroom here. Pink toads here. From here, you can see that the ocean's a big ring. See, and then awesome. I love this place. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, to actually playing the game. I love your pink or your purple feathers. They're my favorite. If I were a penguin, I'd be purple. If I were anything, I'd be purple. It's my favorite color if you couldn't figure that out. I just don't know why it's all like poison in Nintendo games. I just don't. I don't whatever. Now, who do we have here? <laughs> you some friend of those penguins? Let's get something clear here, Landwalker. This sea's mine, see? If you want it back, show some gills and make it through eight rings. Meow, yeah, see? Meow. Yeah. Okay, so this isn't really a race. Um, he starts out ahead of you because... Let's get down there, Mario. Because he has to, you know, set up the rings for you to swim in, and he has to be ahead of you, so... The best thing to do, I think, is just to grab a red shell as soon as you can. Because even though this is pretty easy, if you get caught somewhere, then the rings might disappear. They start flashing and disappear, and you don't want that to happen because that's just embarrassing. This is pretty easy. You, you just follow him. I don't know why his name's Guppy. That's just silly. Shamu! Shamu! I'm actually going to go see Shamu on Saturday! I'm going to go to SeaWorld! Um, hopefully, if it doesn't rain, it's supposed to rain. It's raining today, and I don't like it. But, um, hopefully it works out. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go at night, since it's way too hot during the day. Just hopefully see fireworks for 4th of July. And ride a roller coaster, and I'm getting ahead of him, so. Let him get a little, gain a little ground here. And one more. There we go! Yay! Here it is. There's our star. Well, he may be a killer whale, but he's honest. Nintendo likes to keep up the integrity here. Not bad for a landwalker. Well, I'm a fish of my word. The sea's all yours, buddy. Thanks, man. And everybody says thank you. Nice work, old stash guy. <laughs> Surf's up again. Thanks a bunch! Yeah, way to go! Now we can play! Is that a power star I see over there by Guppy? Yep, show sure is, and it's all mine's. <laughs> Woohoo! So, um, I think that'll just be it for this uh, episode here. I'll let you go early for the weekend, because I'm sure you. At least all my American friends have stuff going on this weekend. And y'all have fun no matter where in the world you are. 
Okay guys, and one more thing. This weekend, when you're being inundated with all this American 4th of July brouhaha, don't forget what you're celebrating. And that's the fact that a bunch of slave-owning, aristocratic white males didn't want to pay their taxes. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen Daisy and Fuse, you need to go rent it. That's your homework this weekend. Go see that. You need to go see it. It's a good movie. And it was filmed in Austin, Texas. <laughs> Alright guys, y'all have fun. Don't get hurt by any fireworks. Love y'all. Bye.